Good morning, everyone. Today we are going to see that how we can execute our Python programs in online compiler. But before that, I will tell you that what is an online compiler. Online compiler are programming tools that allow you to execute and compile your programs online. Online compilers are available for various programming languages, but today we are going to see the online compiler for the Python language. These online compilers are available on various content management sites online, and today we are going to use an online co um, compiler that is available on programis.com. So this is how our Python online compiler looks. It has two windows, one is main.py and other is shell. Main.py is the window where we are actually going to write our Python program. .py is the extension for any file that contains the Python code and shell is where we are going to see our output. So let us see that how this Python online compiler works. Let us see a pro simple program for addition of three numbers. For adding three numbers, first I will take three numbers and I will call them as variables. A equal to five, B is equal to seven, and C is equal to eight. Now I will add these three numbers and will show its output. So for taking its output, I will take another number, another variable that is sum. Sum is equal to A plus B plus C. Now for showing the output, I will use print statement. In print and in bracket, the name of the variable containing the sum. After writing my Python code in main.py, I will click on run. When I will click on run, it will show me the output that is addition of three numbers A, B and C. This online compiler can be used both on desktop, laptops and mobile phones. After completing their lab in online classes through Zoom, Student can use this online compiler on their mobile phones and share the output with their teachers. Some students had shared their mobile output with me, which I'm going to share with you. The student has executed the sum of Two numbers that sorry division of two numbers that is a and b a b and c and then she has printed the value of c so it, the result is 1.0 and she has also printed the type of c that is to what data type c belongs c belongs to the data type float because it has fraction numbers so the output is being displayed as class float thank you